What's up, everybody? It is I, Hero Vange, and welcome to a Pokemon Go raid video. Today, we're gonna talk about Kyogre. See, this morning, I was looking through YouTube and I was trying to look for like an updated Kyogre raid counter guide, and I encountered Ryan Swag. Shout out to him, right? Uh, Ryan Swag's video. And then he started to talk about break points, bulk points, like the nitty gritty of uh, raiding and there was like this graphic on the screen that looked like an octopus and I fell asleep. I fell asleep and then I woke up sweaty. I still didn't know anything about Kyogre and I almost missed my uh, legendary dinner hour. My god. I'm not saying that Ryan is boring, right? He's not. I could watch a 20 to 30 minute um, meta simplified PvP video from Ryan because I'm interested in that. But I, when it comes to raids, I'm wired a different way. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are wired the same way that, as I am, right? Are you the type of person who, you know, doesn't really want to get into the nitty gritty type of thing? You don't want to put in that much effort into it, but you want to do good enough so that you have enough balls at the end of the raid to catch Kyogre, which is kind of like annoying to catch, really, right? If the answer is yes, then this video is perfect for you because you and I are kindred spirits and I'm gonna teach you what to do during a Kyogre raid <laughs> so that you don't look like an idiot, so that you do okay, you contribute, plus you come out with a decent amount of balls, okay? So, we're gonna start off with weaknesses and weaknesses super easy to remember Kyogre is a water type Pokemon pure water type so it's a weak to grass and electric moving on to move set the only thing that I want you to remember is Blizzard why specifically Blizzard it's because Blizzard kills grass type Pokemon so when you're battling this guy if you see that it's a Blizzard type don't use the grass types, okay? Another very important thing to remember and one of the most common questions during a raid, I use it kind of like as a pickup line to meet new players. What's, what's the Hundo CP again? You know, just to so you start to break the ice type of thing. But yeah, what's the Hundo CP? It is 2351 for the non boosted and 2939 for the boosted. How do you know if it's boosted? If you look in the game, if the weather is rainy, because it's a water type Pokemon, right? Rainy, then it's boosted. Okay, that's cool, but you know, how do we actually raid Kyogre? How do we, you know, do well? Okay, first thing that I want you to check, check the weather. If the weather is sunny, all right, okay? If the weather is sunny, then you might want to consider using the grass types because they're boosted in the sunny weather. Here's the thing, right? I said might. You might want to use the grass types. The thing that's gonna determine if you actually use them or not is the moveset. If the Kyogre has Blizzard, you remember that? I told you to remember that, right? Blizzard, okay? If it has Blizzard, then you do not want to use the grass types because, you know, they're gonna get one hit delete. But then how do you know if it has Blizzard? How do you know if the Kyogre is running the Blizzard? You can't just like pop in to check and then hop out. That's inefficient, right? This is how I do it, okay? And this is a very, very lazy way. You just listen to the other players. You know what I notice about people doing raids? They're looking, they're just like looking for something to say all the time, you know? Just to cut the, the awkwardness, right? And a lot of people, they want to come off smart. So they're like, oh, it's a blizzard. Ooh, I'm smart type of thing. So you just listen to them. Usually they'll, they'll call it out. So if they call it out, oh, then don't use the grass types. Okay, what if you just like are in a quiet group? If you're in a quiet group, look at your lobby. If it's sunny and there are no grass types, well, hot dang, there you go. It's it's probably a blizzard or you don't have any powered up grass types. But, you know, it's safe bet. Don't use the grass types if ever, you know, you don't see grass types in your lobby when it's sunny. So let's say it's sunny outside. You hop into the raid. You look at the recommended battle party. You see that there are grass types. Your know-it-all friend or some awkward guy who is trying to, you know, spark up a conversation goes like, it's not a blizzard, guys. It's not a blizzard. Then what grass types do you use? You go with the Roserade, that's the best the best one, right? Or Sceptile with those uh, movesets, okay? So for Roserade, you've got Razor Leaf, Grass, Not, that's GS. Did I have that? Uh, oh my, okay, I fixed it. Um, Yeah, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking of the band, Slipknot. That's why it was Grass, GS, right? Grass, 
Slipknot. It is what it is. So, you know, uh, Roserade with Razor Leaf and Grass Knot. Okay? And then we've got Sceptile with Bullet Seed and Frenzy Plan. Now, for all the other conditions, it's not sunny. It's a blizzard type, okay? Or you're just feeling really lazy. You don't want to think about it. You want to go with the electric types. The electric types, it'll do it. All right, it, it'll just it'll just do it. Raikou, who is the thicker choice. Electivire, which has a little bit more damage but is not as thick with Thundershock and Wild Charge. It'll just do it. But Vange, I don't have any of these Pokemon. Does that mean that I'm a noob? Unfortunately, yes. I'm sorry. That that was mean. But fortunately for you, there are alternatives. You can use these other Pokemon and you'll do not as good but still okay, okay? So we've got Venusaur with Vine Whip Frenzy Plan, okay? That's the, the legacy Venusaur. I, I think that if you don't have those other Pokemon, that's it's unlikely that you have that. But I mean, if maybe if you're a returning player, right? Now we also got Tangrowth, which kind of looks like a wig for a Smurf, right? That blue thing right there, yeah. Uh, it's got Vine Whip, Solar Beam. That's not a legacy. You can definitely find that. And at the very end, we've got one of my favorite Pokemon. Just because he looks so derpy. We've got the Egg Tree. We call him Hector in the PvP world. Uh, it's Executor with Bullet Seed and Seed Bomb. Okay, that's not Solar Beam. That's Seed Bomb. It's not a legacy. So yeah, you can definitely find that. Now for the electric alternatives, we've got... Magnezone, who kind of looks like a toy for a kid who wants to be an engineer someday. Who's got Spark, Wild Charge, it's not a legacy. Next, we've got Luxray, who used to be so cute as a Shinx, but is now, I guess, going through a phase. It has a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It locks itself in his room, doing God knows what, and also listens to Alternative Grunge 24-7. I don't know what to do with this thing, all right? But it's not a legacy. It's got Spark, Wild Charge, and like the worst attitude ever. Now, way back over there, we've got my favorite legendary bird, Zapdos. It's a legacy though. Legacy, Thundershock, Thunderbolt, but you might have it, right? So yeah, it, it'll do it. It'll do it. So finally, to review, for Kyogre, we've got two weaknesses, Grass and Electric. For the moveset, you only need to remember one move. It's a Blizzard because it kills the grass types for the 100% CP, it's 2351 for the non boosted, and 2939 for the boosted. It's boosted during rainy weather. First, you want to check the in game weather. If it's sunny or clear, then the grass types are boosted. You might want to consider using the grass types, except if it's a Blizzard Kyogre. How do you know if it's a Blizzard Kyogre? People are going to tell you, or you can check the raid lobby if you see no grass types. Then it might be a Blizzard Kyogre. For the grass, type counters, you've got Roserade as the best one, followed by Sceptile, Venusaur, Tangrowth, and Executor. In all other conditions, it's not sunny. It's a Blizzard Kyogre. You drop your phone on the ground, it cracked, you wanna cry, but then your friends are still pushing you to raid, and you don't wanna think, or you're just feeling lazy. Then, the Electrics are your go-to raid counters. For the Electric type counters, you've got Raikou, who is a little thicker. You've got Electivire, who has a little bit more damage, followed by Magnezone, Luxury, and Zapdos. And so now, you have a simple but effective way of raiding Kyogre. It's not gonna take like, what, 5% of your brain power, right? Like, Sunny, not Sunny. Okay, Blizzard, not Blizzard. Alright, done. Hey, good luck out there. I hope you get a shiny. I hope you get like some high IV Pokemon, maybe a Hondo, because this guy is going to be the best water type attacker for, for I think forever, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Remember to leave a like, comment down below some feedback, because this is kind of like, this is the first time that I ever made like a raid counter type of, type of, I cover PvP like all the time. So, you know, I'm trying to branch out. You know, was it good? Was it was it trash? 
do you think I should like change it? Do you like the jokes? Did you find them cringy? Like just any feedback at all, uh, just let me know. Share this video with your friends who don't know how to raid Kyogre. Subscribe if you haven't yet, ding that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys!